Okay, here we have Rapture Post Trib Moment number nine, excuse me. The uh, One of the favorite lies taught by the post tribbers is right here. No pre trib rapture taught before 1830. And you go, oh no, isn't this horrible? So let's watch a little bit here. Because the pre tribulation rapture is not found in Scripture whatsoever, we have to ask ourselves. <laughs> yes, it is. He's a liar. Of the question. Where did this doctrine come from? Well, first of all, it was never taught before the year 1830 that there's any record of whatsoever. Okay. Now, he just said that there's no record of a pre-tribulation rapture before 1830. Really? Let's go here to this website, Essential Christianity. Okay. And I, I can't endorse everything on this website. I don't know. But uh, it says here, two pre-tribulational references in the early church. The Shepherd of Hermes, 95 AD to 150 AD. Okay, you see there it says, you have escaped from the great tribulation on account of your faith. And because you did not doubt in the presence of such a beast. Go therefore and tell the elect of the Lord his mighty deeds and say to them that this beast is a type of the great tribulation that is coming. Okay, if then you prepare yourselves and repent with all your heart and turn to the Lord, it will be possible for you to escape it. Okay, escape the great tribulation. If your heart be pure and spotless and ye spend the rest of the days of your life serving the Lord blamelessly. Now you say, oh, you're, you're promoting the shepherd of Hermas. No, I am not. This is a heretical writing. I wouldn't use this. I don't refer to the writings of the early church fathers. Okay. But the point is, Steve Anderson, right here, just said that there is no mention of a pre-trib rapture before 1830. Documented liar. Right there. Right here. You have escaped the Great Tribulation on account of your faith. Okay? Victorianus. Well known by 270 and died in 303 AD. Okay? Look what he says. And the heaven withdrew as a scroll that is rolled up for the heaven to be rolled away that is that the church shall be taken away and every mountain and the islands removed from their places intimate that in the last persecution all men departed from their places that is that the good will be removed seeking to avoid persecution and again I'm not I'm not promoting you know you ought to read this guys I'm not doing that I'm just simply refuting this thing that he says that there is no mention of a pre-trib rapture before the 1830s. And I'm going to show you an even better one. How about Ephraim of Nisibius, 306 to 330, or 373 AD. Okay, I'm not going to read all this. You can read it if you want to, but it says there, uh, Why therefore do we meet or do we not reject every care of earthly actions and pre prepare ourselves for the meeting of the Lord Jesus Christ? That's very true if you believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, by the way. You should reject every care of earthly actions and prepare yourself to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. He can come at any time. Now, if you're post-trib, well, then you believe that you have at least seven years, or three and a half if you're Steve Anderson. Um, but anyways, look here. So that he may draw us from the confusion which overwhelms the world. Okay, draw us from the confusion. You say, well, that's not clear. Okay, how about down here? Woe to those who desire to see the day of the Lord. I agree with that. Okay, woe to those that are saying that we're going to see the second coming. Okay, that's nonsense. Because all saints and the elect of the Lord are gathered together before the tribulation. Let me just highlight it. Before the tribulation. One more time. Before the tribulation. Which is about to come and and are taken to the Lord in order that they may not see at any time the confusion which overwhelms the world because of our sins. No quotes of a pre-tribulation rapture right there before the tribulation. The saints are gathered together before the tribulation. Ephraim of Nisibius through 6 to 373 AD. Okay? And he goes on to say that, that he's looked at different websites and there's really no quotes that are convincing. That's not convincing. You know, one more time before the tribulation. That's not convincing. Let's continue.
And believe me, there are a lot of books, commentaries, uh, theological treatises, tracts, sermons, pamphlets that were written before 1830 that still exist today. Okay, let's talk about these books and things and a lot of things that were written before the 1830s. Why don't we go back and ask the question, okay, people weren't teaching a pre-tribulation rapture. First of all, how many writings of the early, early church have been preserved? You know, if you study church history, you'll see that the Catholic Church burned the writings of the early Christian groups like the Donatists and the Paulicians and the Waldenses and the Vaudois and people like that, Albigenses, you know, the Huguenots and things. Their writings were burned. And by the way, they weren't, they didn't have printing presses that were cranking out books and they had bookstores and stuff and libraries. They didn't have that. They were writing things by hand. This, this nonsense teaching that there's no written documents, you know, before the 1830s. Yeah, because most of them were burned up, you know. But let me ask you another question. Who was teaching that the church would go through the tribulation? Let's look here. Here we have AmericanCatholic.org, raptured or not, okay? And it goes down through, and look what it says. Origins of the rapture. The rapture seems to have been invented by a British religious figure named John Nelson Darby. Ah, about 1830 he began teaching that Jesus' is coming at the end of the world would be preceded by a rapture of the saints. Isn't that interesting? Steve Anderson is preaching Catholic belief. Huh. Isn't that very interesting? And they go on, you know, church teaching on the rapture. And it says here, uh, as Roman Catholics, we might ask, has the church censored anything regarding the rapture doctrine? The answer would have to be no and yes. And then they go on to say, you know, that the, uh, no to my knowledge, there has never been an explicit statement relative, relative to the rapture. Yeah, because the Catholics are so inept and they don't understand scripture that they wouldn't understand the rapture. But as we have seen, as we have seen, the rapture forms part of a particular millennial expectation. And then it goes on to talk about the Council of Ephesus denouncing it as a deviation and a fable. Okay? So, they're saying right here that the Roman Catholic Church does not believe the rapture. Exactly like Steve Anderson is saying. I wonder if Steve Anderson is a closet Catholic. Hmm. Interesting. 1830 wasn't really that long ago. And there's all kinds of documentation of what people believe, what they preach. There are all kinds of theological works. And yet not one scrap of paper before the year 1830 that teaches a pre-tribulation rapture? Uh, not one scrap of paper that teaches a pre-tribulation rapture? Ephraim of Nisibius, or Nis Nisibus, however you say that. Victorinus, the shepherd of Hermas. Three different sources teaching a pre-tribulation rapture. Liar. Liar, false prophet. But let's skip here towards the end. Doctrines. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. And so the pre-tribulation rapture is a diverse and strange doctrine because it's, it's completely foreign to scripture. That's no, it isn't. Listen to my studies on it. This guy's a liar. Why no one even thought of it until around the year 1830. There's no evidence that anyone even dreamed of such a thing because it is so foreign to scripture. No evidence. One more time. The Shepherd of Hermas, Victorinus, Ephraim of Nisibius. No evidence, he says, of a pre tribulation rapture. Steve Anderson, right here, you have a liar. I just documented it. I just showed you that the Catholic Church, he's teaching Catholic doctrine. Okay, this is Catholicism that he's teaching. Okay, this right here. Church teaching on the rapture. There, he's, he's just, it's like he's reading from this stuff right here. Okay, he's teaching the same thing as a Catholic church. 
And he says, there's no proof of a pre-trib rapture. And I just showed it to you right there. Steve Anderson is a liar.